It's really hard um, when to sort of coming up with new designs, but then when you've made one and it just clicks, and I can't explain what it is, but something in my head just goes, that's it. Um, I love that moment when I've made something and then it's popular and people buy it and obviously everyone else likes it and it's not just me. So I got started in 2006 and there used to be a sort of 60s night at the Leicester University once a month, it was called Brighton Beach. I've always been into the 60s music. Like my parents have listened to it and so I was just always into that scene and the clothing um, and I really wanted dresses to wear to this event but I just couldn't find anything that would suit my shape. My mum used to um, work in the hosier business in Leicester from the 60s. She used to make all her own clothes and she said, well I'll make you a dress and so she did and I got so many compliments that night about, oh my god your dress is amazing, where did you get that from? And I was like, oh my mum made it. And, uh, a friend of mine at the time was like, you know what, loads of people keep asking you, why don't you just like make them and sell them because obviously there's a market for it. And so in 2006 I said to my mum, can you help me? And she kind of taught me the basics of how to sew. And I used to sell on eBay, I think I was on eBay for about four or five years. My partner really encouraged me to like move the business forward from eBay. Um, when we got together and he was like, this is, you know, you need to kind of really push yourself. I think this could be something really big. So set up the website. He was the one actually that approached the first shop that we sold into, which is a shop called Mod Father in London, which is a big, big kind of like mod 60s sort of boutique shop in Camden. And they, 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 took, our, they took our dresses and so it all basically started from there. Hi, I'm Melanie and this is Love Her Madly. I mean, I love the music and the fashion I've just always found appealing and I'm, I, don't, I can't really explain why I find it appealing. I think the colours and the patterns and, yeah, just the style, the chic style of it, the short skirts when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> we source from Leicester, so even, they are obviously made in other countries, but we buy them from factories or haberdasheries in Leicester. I just find it really important to keep buying from local businesses and I've got a friendly relationship with them now as well. So the designs come to my mind either from an old 60s film that I've seen or maybe some model shoots from that era and I'll probably I'll just think about them in my head for a while. I kind of cut them out in my head just to see how it would work. It's really difficult when you own your own business. I don't know, for me, maybe. I was, I'm really shy, and it's always lovely when pe customers send you really nice emails about how much they love their dress or how well it fits them. And they send us links on Instagram to their pictures that they've taken. It's still a bit shocking. I find it like, oh, I made that. Or if I see my dress, on stage somewhere, I think, oh, I've, I've made that. And it still hasn't really sunk in that I've done it, even though I have. In 10 years, I'd like to see Love Her Madly um, being, for, for one, in 10 years, I'd still like there to be a scene where Love Her Madly can fit into, you know? It's gonna be coming up to, I don't know, 70 years since the 60s then. And so I just hope, still hope there's a scene that we fit into. It would be nice to be well known, but it's, it's, it'd be nice to be top of the 60s mod market, if that makes sense. It's just in me now, it's part of me. I don't think I could ever stop doing it.